Hey guys, so uh, <clears throat> got a package in the mail today. You know, we had some problems with our uh, Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, we had a Renegade 24 volt um, PMA we purchased back in uh, March or April of 2013. We got into the, the spring and summer, thought there were some problems with it. Uh, we sent it back to Missouri Wind and Solar. We got it back. <clears throat> the sales guy sent it back to us. Uh, we noticed it was a 48 volt version. Uh, there were some email interactions. Uh, I questioned it. We were told that was fine. Wire it this way. We had it all for seven, eight months that way. Uh, when we started putting videos on YouTube, uh, it started to be questioned if that was accurate or not. And it was, it, as we identified, uh, several of the viewers said absolutely not. Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar said absolutely not. And uh, he uh, voluntarily said, hey, we need to replace that. So. Uh, we boxed it up, we shipped it back to Missouri Wind and Solar uh, last week, and, and so today the, a new uh, box came in, and I unboxed, uh, opened it up, and uh, it was just going to be a replacement system, and, and uh, I opened it up, and uh, opened it, and when I opened the box and pulled it out, there was uh, one of their new Freedom uh, PMGs was in the box, uh, which is kind of shocking to me. So, uh, you know, I, I was very thankful to Jeff for that. Um, I was not expecting that at all. I was just expecting a 24 volt uh, Renegade, uh, what I had or what I ex what I had originally purchased. So I'm very thankful and grateful for him for it. And I uh, wanted to make sure that I was fair with him exactly the way I was with Thermodyne when Thermodyne sent their 24 volt PMA. Um, this is the Missouri Wind and Solar Freedom 2 PMG, which is the permanent magnet generator. And I'm just going to give you my first impressions. Uh, what was in the box? Uh, what I noticed, you know, kind of, kind of uh, first sight observations and what my plans are right now. So I went and watched the video. I sent Jeff an email and just said, hey, thanks for, uh, you know, sending me this device. Uh, I, I'm excited to have something that, you know, the right uh, device from Missouri Wind and Solar. So maybe I can get back on track where I originally wanted to be. Um, that's the reason I took a lot of the videos offline that we had from Missouri Wind and Solar with the bad uh, numbers. It does no good for anyone. Uh, to have to have a bunch of videos online with inaccurate information. The whole goal of my website of BreezeKing.com and of the YouTube channel was to get accurate information for potential buyers like myself to make good valuable information and, and, and to make good decisions because it was hard for me. There was a lot of mudslinging back and forth. There was a lot of inaccurate information and I just wanted a place where we could start to for uh, people to, to make good choices. So I took them down. Uh, it, it didn't do any good for me to leave those videos up, knowing that it was a 48 volt PMA that was up. So I took it down. Um, th that's it. That's all there was to it. So Jeff sent this to me. I'm very, very thankful for it. And I'll tell you what I've seen uh, kind of just right off the bat. So I'm going to tip this camera up just a little bit. There we go. So right off the bat, uh, the front, uh, I, I sent Jeff the email and just said, hey, uh, you know, thanks for what you did. I appreciate it. It was very unexpected. And he sent me a link to a video and kind of gave me a, he told me to go watch it and, and read about it. <clears throat> and interestingly enough, I kind of noticed the same things on the video. Uh, it's got a whole new front uh, from, a, from a PMA. Uh, the PMG has large openings on the front, so the wind will travel through a lot easier. It's, you can see right down into this thing. Um, the front is uh, polished, and uh, it's, uh, it doesn't look like a PMA. Uh, it's rounded and it's got multiple bolt holes on the front. I noticed that right off the bat. And then if I flip this thing over, it's the same way on the back. You can, you can easily see right down in there and see the magnets. Uh, you can see the, uh, all of the uh, copper that's inside there as well. I'll flip this thing right back over. There you go. Uh, I believe he said that the uh, shaft is the same size so the hub and everything will still mount right up to it. I believe that's what he said. Um, everything else is, uh, it looks like the wire size and all of that, those types of things are about the same, but it, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's not, when I say heavy, it, I mean, heavy is in, um, it feels like it's all there, right? It, all the materials there. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap. How's that? Um, this is what I think shocked me the most is, uh, you know, some of the tests we've been doing, um, with my old Missouri Wind and Solar Renegade 24 volt dual core PMA, uh, I can just take this one and spin it with my fingers. And if you look down in there, you can see 
uh, that's just as fast as I can turn it. There's almost no cogging at all on this thing. And cogging being for, uh, you know, I was a, I was, uh, I've been learning as I go. Uh, as defined by me, cogging is that resistance of the magnets to uh, the, the, either the magnets or the, uh, the copper on the inside, right? So the electricity that's made as this thing spins and the resistance between the inner and the outer um, uh, coil, um, well, this doesn't have that. Like, like I said, you can see. So what that allows is when there's no cogging, it allows for a lower startup speed and it allows for uh, faster power to be made. And when the wind's blowing, it allows for a constant wind which means constant power. Does that make sense? So yeah, so I mean, look at that. Um, that is pretty amazing as compared to what we had previously. So, I mean, there's no tricks, no gimmicks, no nothing. So I, I told Jeff I was going to, my original plan, I'm gonna set this aside. My original plan was to uh, get that Renegade 2 and get it back up on the tower tomorrow, but instead I'm gonna to try to go do some tests on this thing similar to what we've done previously uh, so we can kind of see where this thing stands in the running. Um, but I want to be fair, some of the other things I wanted to do was, here is uh, the packaging. So it looks like uh, there's a new bracket. So along with that new, uh, I guess you could call them the bezels, uh, the front and the back, uh, there's now new brackets. Um, you can see there's a dual bolt hole, top and bottom, and inside comes the uh, the uh, restraints that hold the bracket in place so that it can't go up and it can't go down. Those are inside there. And then they sent me the uh, nine blade hub that goes. And they also sent the seven blade hub, the bolts as well. Um, these have the nylon locking. And then uh, Jeff sent the uh, their new tail section, which uh, actually is kind of a, I, I'm happy to see that because uh, I was going to buy one anyway. I have the two, I have I have the original version I bought from Missouri Wind and Solar, which has the two small pieces on it, uh, and that's the one that uh, the big tornado came through and my tower was blown over and it, it bent those pieces. I straightened them back out, but uh, there's a little curve in one of them. But uh, yeah, so I, I think the sawdust is probably in there to keep rust, uh, to you know, absorb moisture. But uh, you know, there's, a, there's some cutouts on it that's probably uh, either laser cut or plasma cut, I'd bet. And, uh, but I just wanted to, to kind of show what was in the, the boxes and the packaging. Uh, the documentation's in here. It talks about how to put it together. Uh, all of those different things, but just once again, I'll pull this this thing out and uh, show you. You can see that there's the two bolt holes up here on the top, and there's uh, uh, yeah, two on the top and two on the bottom. So we'll see. I just wanted to be fair about it and uh, let everybody know, Jeff. If you see this, I'm very appreciative and and uh, grateful. And uh, you know, we're uh, we'll do some tests on it. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to have uh, 15 to 25 mile an hour winds. We're going to do them on the cart, this very cart that uh, we're doing demonstrations on now that we've done before. And, uh, and then I'll probably take all of this, uh, the tail and all of these components to the paint shop and uh, have it painted before we ever put it up on the tower anyway. Um, we have, uh, we're still going to put it on the 20 foot tower anyway, but uh, we have plans uh, coming up within the next probably 30 days, our 50-foot tower. Uh, we have uh, 65,000 pounds of, uh, 64,000 pounds of concrete that's going to be poured. Our tower will be uh, uh, 50 feet tall. It'll be a tilt tower, um, pivots at uh, about 12 feet, um, controlled by a winch uh, at a six foot, I'm sorry, six inch, um, six inch tube steel quarter inch thick so it won't move it won't uh, wave in the wind there'll be no guide wires so uh, it's going to be the real deal and it won't move it'll be a very uh, stable uh, platform and if that tower goes down then my house is gone anyway so uh, more to come uh, appreciate it Jeff thank you very much uh, was more than what we expected and uh, we'll uh, 
we'll post up some results hopefully in the next day or two. Thank you guys.